It's the most versatile form of recreational aviation ever dreamed of. You can fly from small parks, launch off of mountains, drag your feet on the beaches, use regular airports, and fly around some of the most congested airspace on planet Earth. That is what ultralighting affords, but you better know what you're doing. Airspace and Law for Ultralights makes that knowing clear while having a bit of fun in the process. Airspace is a 3D concept, and that's how we present it. Using the power of motion graphics, we clear up this esoteric topic in a way that has never been done before. First and foremost, we show what really applies to ultralighters and where they fly. Presented clearly, it's not as difficult as many fear. We cover the details, of course, and they are important, but the biggest breakthrough is conveying how the airspace is set up. Not just what the rules are, but why they were made that way, an understanding that improves retention even more. Then we'll put the knowledge to use, going to flying sites and showing the pilot's perspective, his thought process. This is done from free flying sites, an airport, a schoolyard, and even New York City. These craft offer incredible freedom, but like any great freedom comes great responsibility. Airspace and Law for Ultralights will help meet that responsibility while enjoying this incredible form of flight. Besides airspace, we explain the minimal but wavy law that governs our flying. As much as we can't do, it shows what we can do. Basics of flying from around airports is covered too, including an introduction to those with control towers. But the main focus is what free flyers and powered pilots will need to fly their craft responsibly in the U.S. So if you plan on flying ultralights here, this will be a great boon to making it more fun and less stressful. Airspace and Law for Ultralights will help you enjoy our incredible freedom with confidence.